Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has congratulated the citizens and residents of Bahrain on Eid Al Adha, wishing them many happy returns as well as abundant health and happiness. His Majesty also extended congratulations to Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the same occasion, expressing pride in the tremendous efforts they are exerting and the continuous outstanding successes they are making in fighting the coronavirus pandemic and mitigating its efforts through premeditated plans and precautionary measures, which led to a sharp drop in the number of active cases. His Majesty praised the great sacrifices made by frontline heroes, including medical and nursing staff, as well as those responsible for the national vaccination campaign, noting that they are set the best examples of dedication, humanitarianisation, loyalty and devotion to the homeland, citing the constant keenness to protect the health and safety of all citizens and residents. His Majesty affirmed that all required support will continue to be provided for Team Bahrain in order to ensure the success of their national duties for Bahrain to overcome the pandemic successfully. He expressed thanks to the citizens and residents for their sense of responsibility, awareness and unwavering support for the ongoing national efforts to combat the pandemic by continuing their compliance with precautionary measures in force and keenness on taking the vaccine as well as the booster dose. His Majesty affirmed that the health situation in Bahrain is reassuring and that the kingdom is on the right track towards recovery, adding that Bahrain will overcome this period through the cooperation and awareness of everyone, as well as the commitment to working together as one team. He expressed deep pride in the Bahraini cadres who are dedicated to serving the nation in all sectors. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect Bahrain and its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Majesty King of Jordan, Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein. His Majesty exchanged with the Jordanian monarch Eid al Adha greetings and good wishes, wishing his country and its people, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. They also reviewed the deep rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and Jordan. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged Eid al Adha greet- cables and greetings of good wishes with GCC, Arab, Islamic and friendly nations, leaders, Crown Princes and Prime Ministers. In the cables, His Royal Highness wished them continued good health and greater success in manoeuvring challenges presented by the COVID-19 pandemic. Eid al Adha prayer was held today morning in Al Fatah Mosque amid full commitment to precautionary measures. The number of worshippers was limited to 30 upon the recommendations of the medical task force to curb the spread of the pandemic and limit gatherings during Eid. Allahu Akbar 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 the Kathib of Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Centre, Sheikh Dr. Adnan bin Abdullah Al Ghatan, and noted the virtues of Eid al Adha during his khitbah and the duties of Muslims during this holy occasion. He called on citizens and residents to continue adhering to all precautionary measures and to take the vaccine, as well as the booster shot. He also warned against taking information from unofficial sources. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,096,716 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,034,354 had taken the second, and 114,208 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 810, with 121 recoveries, 67 registered new cases. 36 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 23 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel-related. 
The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.